Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Kevin Prince Boateng car to review today. So with Boateng, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot one, medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star, four star capabilities with what stamina? 78. 78 is pretty low to be fair. Definitely pretty low, but he has medium, medium work rate. So I'm not like completely against that, to be honest. Base card stats for this card in game looks pretty decent to be honest i want to try him out on the basic chemistry style first because they actually mess with his dribbling passing and shooting stats yeah so base card stats are pays 75 81 there's different situations with this card right so let's just say for instance uh you plan on using him as one of your center mids you can totally give him the engine chemistry style to boost his dribbling as much as possible while boosting passing as well as pace or you could totally give him the shadow chemistry style to boost his defense as much as possible. The only thing that he's going to be lacking in is going to be defensive awareness with the medium, medium work rates. But you do give him that plus 10, plus 10 uh, ability, which is definitely nice for the pace upgrade. Uh, because base card stats for shooting is already very good on this card. So you don't necessarily have to look at that too much. Uh, even the passing is pretty decent, but obviously on an engine chemistry style, you can improve that as well. That's why I'm going to try him on a basic because I want to see what I feel like I want the most on the card. Um, you could definitely use him for fun in the cam position, but it's probably not going to be super ideal to use a card like this there. Although we're going to try him there to see what his attacking abilities is like. Uh, dribbling, like I said, we will be experimenting with in game because with Boateng, he is a six foot one player with a high and average body type, right? Uh, again, defensive stats are somewhat there, so very helpful to work with. Uh, and then he has some pretty decent physical stats as well. So with the physical characteristics that he has, again, it's probably going to be the type of card that you're going to want to use mainly in those uh, in those midfield positions, I would say, right? So with the Bundesliga team, we are going to be using... Um, ba -ba 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 -bom. We could try a 4-1-2-2, two two, actually. Could totally do that. All right, Boateng is the cam. Goretzka, Wurtz, Kostic, we'll put into the midfield. Yeah, let me just see how Boateng plays in that midfield area, and then I'm going to rotate him accordingly, because I just want to see how he kind of, like, dribbles. I really do feel like he's going to be, like, one of the center mids for sure. He's a pretty thick dude in game, eh? Very wide player. <laughs> yeah, I think he's definitely going to be, like, mainly a center mid CDM type of guy for sure with that dribbling. Again, like I said, you could totally give him an engine to improve it a little bit more. He has kind of like a stockish body type, which is interesting. Like his high and average is like very thick. Look, look up, look at this guy. He almost looks like a center back in a way. I'm gonna try his physical right here. Touch, shoot. Oh, center actually got that there. He actually goes back. To be fair, I did a, a, the wrong skill move because I was kind of like analyzing to see where he would move, but he does go back, which is good. So dribbling could be one of those things you want to improve, potentially. Especially with that engine balance boost would definitely be cool. It does attack the empty space right there. Yeah, could have made that pass there if I wanted to as well. Good. I, every time I do those small little dribbles, I need to see them actually tracking back. The track back is very important for the build up play in this year's game. He actually goes back into his position. Oh, I try to get the near post angle there. No. Look, we're on switch with him. Nice. Passing is decent enough at those. time nice good finish there very good finish base card stats very noticeable for sure that's the good thing with a card like this is when you i always believe that base card stats are more important than anything and the fact that he can shoot that opportunity there is definitely great the shot power being very high is important i'm gonna give him the uh comeback and defense instruction for the cam area just so that i can uh just so i can kind of test them out defensively from time to time as well
Offside? Yeah, definitely offside. The whole build-up play was definitely nice, though, but... Yeah, so the one thing I'm noticing for sure, guys, is body type and height. So that's where you may actually want to give him the engine chemistry style, potentially. It really depends on how you want to play him in-game, really. Um, I also noticed that he definitely needs that uh, pace adjustment as well to kind of compensate for that body type. Oh, that was weird. I wish he just intercepted that normally there. Oh, I try to go near post right there. Way too close to the goalkeeper. <laughs> I think it actually counted as an offside because it probably hit my player there from the attack. Well, the good thing is, is that you don't necessarily need to improve shooting, right? That's just not a thing that you need to do for this card in particular because he already has the base card stats. Okay, so for this next game, guys, we're going to boost his acceleration and sprint speed as much as possible. Because of his body type and height, like you could give him the engine chemistry style. You definitely could if you really want to improve that that much. But I feel like when you already have those characteristics, most of the time it's not really worth giving them the improvement, especially in the midfield position. But it could be definitely something that you could give him for sure. Because guys, six foot one, high and average body type, uh, a balanced dribbling and agility boost could definitely be a welcome one. But I just want to see what he's like on a shadow this time. In the same 4 1 2 and 2, but we're going to have Wurtz playing as the cam this time. Or, yeah, because Kostic, I'll just play up top. And then Boatang, we will switch to right center mid. There we go. Yeah, let's try that out. Oh, I mistimed that a little bit. I, I, I feel like I did time it well. I just didn't expect the defense, uh, defensive player to have that certain animation there. It's a little bit different. Oh, almost scored that goal-scoring opportunity. Get the pass off. Oh, what are you doing there, Boateng? Hello, sir? You good? Oh, I didn't keep that in. No. I thought I did with the left stick right there. Little roulette. Yeah. Oh, good. I shouldn't have... Um... I shouldn't have accelerated right there. It's way too obvious. Waits the pass well there. That was good. Definitely take those bad boys every single day of the week. Nicely done. Oh, way too much power. I think I hit the crossbar right there, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So he definitely uh, feels like a medium medium. This is not like a De Jong situation where De Jong is a high medium, but then he kind of acts a little bit differently in certain cases. No, he's definitely a medium medium for sure. Just skill move off here. Touch near post. Okay, just to try that out. You do want to go. Uh, you have to get eh, to be fair. You have to go far post, but they're not super consistent. Well, shields. Ah, okay. Tracks back well, to be fair. Again, if you're playing him as one of the center mids on a shadow chemistry style, he's not going to be terrible at it, even with defensive awareness being low. Yep, still gets involved in the attack right there. This is obviously like me forcing these situations out of the card to see what he's like, because even right here, you have to see if he actually tracks back at the very least, right? Which he does on a... Frequent level. It's just more when you're actually in your defensive area where you could tell he's not a super defensive player. But in this game, when you have the height and you have the body type, it is very, very helpful. I had a red time shot and I scored that. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, I went backwards uh, forwards to test out his uh, left stick dribbling on the shadow chemistry style. See how it kind of pops off. Yeah, he definitely has like that physical aspect to his dribbling for sure as a midfielder. So, you know, it's going to be two different chemistry styles. It's whether you want him to be a little bit better defensively, so you give him a shadow chemistry style, or if you want to focus on his dribbling being better with some extra passing, an engine would make sense too, because it works well for the medium medium work rates, right? So.
kind of weird that like when I was about to make that pass, he just kind of like tracked back. That was really strange. Should have kept on making that run there. That was perfect. First time. Okay. I didn't green that shot either. His shooting is good, guys. His shooting is actually really, really solid. Really poor angle to shoot from. Didn't even green it. Still hits it really well, man. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Boatang card. So yeah, guys, like I was saying, uh, if you unlock a card like this in your team, like, yes, you can use him for fun on a finisher chemistry style, using him in the cam position. The pace is not necessarily going to be ideal, but if you're using him in a narrow formation, it isn't necessarily bad because boosting his shooting to be essentially perfect with the way that his base card stats already works, you could totally do that, right? But the main chemistry styles that I see people using for this card is either going to be the Shadow or the Engine. And to be honest with you guys, there's no right or wrong answer because with the Engine chemistry style, using him in the medium-medium work rates that he has, uh, playing as one of the center mids is not going to be a bad thing to work with because improving the dribbling, uh, the passing stats, as well as the pace while working with very good shooting stats makes him a very solid center mid to use, right? But then, if you don't care too much about the dribbling, right, and you kind of want to have... Uh, some decent attacking AI sometimes on the attack. He makes some forward runs sometimes, comes back with his acceleration and sprint speed being a huge factor, obviously, with the defensive stats being increased on the shadow. You could totally give him that as well, right? So there's definitely no right or wrong answer. Uh, the most important thing for this card, I feel like, is that his base card stats for shooting and passing is already pretty decent. So a lot of situations you're actually going to find yourself being able to score from the high percentage strike areas because he's actually pretty solid at them, especially since his shot power is at a 94 with 86 for finishing. I mean, we hit a, a red time shot and he was still able to score the goal, right? So um, honestly, for the SBC being at 42K, you really can't go wrong for what he offers in game, especially if you are making a Bundesliga team. I don't think he's anything special, obviously, but uh, these SBCs, when they release these types of cards, it's more like the quote-unquote concept cards right so nothing crazy special about these guys but still very fun to use for the price you're paying for so if you can actually link him in a Bundesliga team and you plan on using him in that three midfield setup it would be the most ideal yes you can use him in a two midfield setup on a shadow chemistry style it is possible I use Bruno Fernandes there um, but I'm just letting you guys know where I think he's best played and especially with those medium medium work rates being a big thing um, I do think that a card like Nkunku uh, Goretzka, those guys are better, but it's weird to compare in that way because this card is 42k, different nationality, different club, right? Doesn't really have those types of links, so it's a weird comparison to make, in my opinion. But if you're gonna compare midfielder to midfielder, yes, I do prefer Nkunku, yes, I do prefer Goretzka's card, but uh, you can't go wrong with the price of this SBC. Like I said, nothing too special. I showed you guys the animations that he's working with in regards to dribbling and shooting. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.